Many site owners shy away from link building because they see it as this impossible puzzle. While in reality, when you break it down, it's really not that difficult. As long as you know what to do, it's easy to get the basics right. That's why in this video, I'm gonna break down everything you should be doing to build links in 2023. And if you've been out of the loop for a while, pay close attention because quite a few things have changed. The first tactic is shotgun outreach, the spray and pray approach to link building. You send 100 to 300 emails per day to low to medium authority sites, generally in the DR30 to 60 sort of range, and ask if you can get a guest post. To find prospects, use Ahrefs Content Explorer and put in a niche specific info keyword, something like phishing tips. Set a DR range of 30 to 60, and a minimum traffic of 5,000, so you end up with sites that are not too big. Choose the one page per domain filter and export this list. This is your target list. Use an email finding tool like Snowvio or Hunter to bulk find email addresses for everyone on your target list. And use our free email name finder tool to enrich this list with first names because you can land up to 50% more links starting your email saying, hi, Steve, rather than just hi. Oh, hi, Mark. Hunter also has a free outreach tool to send out your emails. No subscriptions required for that. You will need a catchy template though, something that stands out from the gazillion other people doing email outreach today. The key here is to make them laugh. So use all your best silly dad jokes or puns that you can find. Leave a good first impression, but be very clear at the end of your email that you're asking for a guest post. And add one to two gentle follow-up reminders three to four days apart. The trick to shotgun outreach is to start slowly with just five or 10 emails per day and then slowly ramp up the numbers day by day. If you go too fast, you might end up landing all your emails in the spam box. You can use a tool called Glock Apps to check if this has happened. If this does happen, send a few emails out to your friends, ask them to click the not spam button and reply to you. These signals will really help get you out of that spam box. Or you can use a tool such as Microworkers to set up a process where this happens automatically and you can get dozens of people sending these signals every day on autopilot. No more spam box for you. To really ramp up the numbers though, set up multiple email accounts and have them all sending out hundreds of emails per day. Your response rate will be really low here, but you'll still get loads of links because the volume is so high. Just be prepared to have to pay for many of these types of links. The next tactic is sniper outreach, where we send a low number, maybe five to 20 per day, of heavily personalized messages to high authority sites. It's a little bit more manual work than shotgun and it can be intimidating for beginners, but it does open the door to high quality, free DR 70, 80, and even 90 plus links. And these types of sites are just not going to respond to a shotgun outreach message. So go to Google and search for any niche relevant keyword. It can be info or commercial and note down any relevant site. Ignore big publications like Forbes or any newspapers. Relevant niche specific sites are the best ones here. And using Ahrefs toolbar can be really helpful to quickly see the DR and traffic of all these sites. Next, use the Hunter Email Finder or Snowvio Domain Search to find email addresses of people to contact at each of these sites. Now, most bigger sites have larger teams, so you're gonna to want to pick the right person to contact there, usually the author of the article, an editor, or a content manager in that order. The key to writing personalized sniper outreach messages is to research your prospect. So check their about page, their writer bio, their social media, even their own personal blogs. Find out as much as you can about this person. Then you can use AI to help you write the outreach message. GPT-4 is amazing at writing witty and engaging emails. But to get the best results, you need to do four things. Number one, you need to give it all of your research. Remember when I said that that was the key? I meant it. But you also need to give it some basic information about your site. Number two, ask it to write a hyper-personalized guest post outreach template that doesn't sound like a typical guest post outreach template. Three, ask it to write in a witty style using puns and dad jokes. And four, keep it very short. Maximum three paragraphs, one to two sentences per paragraph. Now, if you wanna really go the extra mile here, you can use a tool like Canva to quickly create a custom graphic or even a comic book strip, which will really wow your recipient. Wow. 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 
And to keep track of all of this and to manage our sending for sniper outreach, we use a tool called Buzzstream. Now, the downside of sniper and shotgun outreach is that you have to keep working to keep getting links. But this next tactic will generate high quality links on autopilot long after you finish doing the initial work. I'm talking here about linkable assets where you create a piece of content that over time will naturally earn links. Now, step one is creating the linkable asset. You'll want some kind of original research or data that is industry specific. We've had a lot of success recently doing surveys like this link building one or this AI one. We use our own audience to help get thousands of responses to these surveys, but there are services out there where you can pay for responses. We did some nifty data analysis and produced some cool looking graphs and charts to highlight the key findings. Now, step two is to reach out to sites which either have outdated statistics or mentioned concepts without highlighting a specific statistic. In our survey, we gathered some really cool insights into paid links and how they were being used. So we found every site, every blog that was mentioning paid links, and we emailed to let them know that there was a missing stat from their article. And the results were positive, overwhelmingly so, because we were offering true value. We had unique data, which nobody else could provide. And step three is when the real magic happens. Because of that initial link building campaign to the survey article, the survey now ranks number one for link building survey. We also created another article on link building statistics, which also ranks number one. This generates us passive links every single week because where do you think writers are going to go when they want to find a link building statistic? The next tactic, Haro, is one of the easiest ways to quickly start building links from big newspapers and high authority publications. And this is one of the first things that we recommend new site owners do for link building in our beginner's course, The Authority Site System. Register on helperreporter.com and you'll get three emails per day with hundreds of questions that are niche specific from journalists and industry publications. And they cover every topic imaginable, so there's always going to be something related to your site. But just in case you started a fish cycling site and there's no questions, then you can always move on to more generic business related queries. There's a lot of questions on there about starting a business, running a business, SEO, working from home, these types of things that most people watching this video would be able to answer. Remember that you're acting as a sort of link between worlds here. Answer the question using your own personal experience, share anecdotes and actionable tips from things you've actually tested. It's not gonna work if you don't know what you're talking about and you just Google the question to try and answer it. Success rates in Haro are around 15% in 2023. So still very much worthwhile doing, especially given the DR 70, 80 and 90 links that we've managed to land in the past from Haro. Now, the newish kind of kid on the block for link builders is digital PR. For some reason, journalists at big publications just don't really care much about your AI survey statistics, but they will go crazy if you strap a heart monitor on a dog, tell it I love you and measure its pulse. Seriously, look at Canine Cottages. They did exactly this. And they got over 200 high quality links to that one piece, including from sites like People Magazine, Country Living and Yahoo. Now, another good tactic is to bait local newspapers by creating some kind of list or ranking of different cities on something. It can be as simple as ranking the best airports in the world as money.co.uk did. They landed 93 links from local newspapers whose airport appeared in their rankings. Try getting those links from guest post outreach. Now, digital PR is a really detailed process that would probably require its own video to fully explain. If that's something you'd like to see, please leave a comment below and let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss future videos too. Now, you're probably familiar with link exchanges. You link to me, I link to you, and you may have even dabbled with three-way link exchanges where you link to my site, and then I link to another one of your sites to kind of keep it clean. But have you tried link swaps? In most niches, there'll be a very small number of sites doing a lot of active link building. So why not contact them and offer to build links to their site from your guest posts? It's usually realistic to squeeze a few extra info links into maybe about half of your guest posts. Some sites won't allow them. And you can make a deal with this site so you're linking to them from your guest posts and then they link to you from their guest posts. Now, chances are you know who the prolific guest posters are in your niche already because you're already doing link building. They may have even already outreached to you. 
but you can start to identify them by looking at the Ahrefs outbound link reports on most of the sites that you're guest posting on yourself. To make this work though, both sites need to have pretty good looking sites with lots of easy to link to info content. The key here is to make these links look like natural references rather than specific placements. If you try to stuff a guest post full of commercial links, it's probably not going to work. Once you know and understand these techniques, there are nearly infinite number of possibilities to fuse them together with other strategies and tactics. If you want to go on industry podcasts, then use sniper outreach to land appearances. Or why not offer testimonials to SaaS companies that you use and hopefully get some nice links when they place those on their site. And if you want more free training from us, head on over to authorityhackertraining.com and watch all the content over there. Finally, if you like this type of video, hit the like button and we'll make more of them. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.